Good evening, everyone. In the peacefulness of this day, we acknowledge and respect how different we are with our talents, our dreams, our backgrounds, our occupations, and our beliefs. But as we embrace our differences, let us also focus on the blessings that bind us together. We are all blessed with family and friends, laughter and tears, with rain that's as soft as sunlight. We are blessed with stars that brighten each night and guide us to the next sunrise that has soft winds and blue skies that shepherd us onward through life. We are blessed with the freedoms and compassion to assist those in need and for the thirst for knowledge and enlightenment to cure the sick, feed the hungry and soothe the brokenhearted. Within all of our commonalities, we find joy in celebrating this commencement ceremony. Thank you very much. Please be seated. What a great performance by our students. On behalf of the District Board of Trustees and our distinguished faculty, dedicated staff, it is with honor that I welcome you to the 56th commencement exercise for Gulf Coast State College. Will the graduating class of Gulf Coast State College please rise? Many of, you, many of you had a choice on where you would receive your education. Thank you for choosing Gulf Coast State College. Let's give them another round of applause for their great accomplishment. You may, you may be seated. And best of luck to you as you continue to write your story of success. It is now my honor to welcome Dr. John Holnack to his first commencement as president of Gulf Coast State College. And he will now recognize our other special guests. Thank you. Evening. Thank you, Mr. Robertson, and thank you to the District Board of Trustees for your continuous support and leadership of our college. We are honored tonight to have a number of notable individuals in attendance, and I will introduce them in a moment, but first we want to recognize a special group of individuals. At Gulf Coast State College, we're proud of our connection to and involvement with those who serve or have served in the military of the United States of America. This community shares a special bond with the military and a unique relationship not found in many other places. Our administration, faculty, and staff, many of whom are prior military themselves, are committed to helping our military students and their families achieve their educational goals. With that in mind, it is our privilege to honor our graduating active duty and veteran students who are designated by their red, white, and blue cords. Faculty and staff who served in the military are also wearing those cords. 
Will you please stand and be recognized? Again, thank you for your service to our nation and for defending the freedoms we all enjoy, and thank you for the sacrifices that you and your families made. You can be seated. Now I would like to introduce our special guests that are on the platform, and I would ask each of our guests to remain standing until all have been introduced. Audience, please hold your applause until the end. You've already met Mr. Ralph Robertson, our District Board of Trustees Chair. Other trustees with us today are Ms. Katie Petronas, our Vice Chair. Mr. Jim McKnight, Ms. Leah Dunn, Mr. Steve Milloway, Ms. Elizabeth Curvin, and also joining us tonight are honor honorary, as one of our honorary military trustees, Colonel Christopher Holmes of Tyndall Air Force Base. All of you are appreciated and thank you again for your support and guidance at this college. You can be seated. Our other special platform guests tonight, and if you would stand to be recognized, include Mr. Frank Hall, President of the Foundation, uh, Gulf Coast State College Foundation, Ms. Rosie O'Bort, Chair of the Visual Performing Arts Division, and our speaker tonight, who you'll hear more about in a few minutes, Dr. Barbara Robinson, Undergraduate Studies at Florida State University, Panama City Campus, our special guests and our true friends across the street. Uh, Dr. George Bishop, Vice President of Academic Learning, uh, of Academic Affairs and Learning Support. Mr. John Mercer, Vice President of Administration and Finance. Dr. Melissa Lavender, Vice President of Student Affairs. Melissa Boyce, Professional Employees Council Chair. Douglas Wells, Faculty Senate President. Clinton McCormick, Spring 2015 graduate, who you've already heard from. Mr. C.C. Curtis Carter, Jr., our 2015 Distinguished Alumnus and Producer of, the, of Specialized Programming at the college's radio station, WKGC, a broadcast service of Gulf Coast State College. Uh, Sandra Pugh, Assistant Professor of Language and Literature, of the Language and Literature Vision. Uh, Christina Mendiola, President of the Student Government Association. Leslie Hatner, Dean of Business Affairs. Miranda DuBose, uh, Coordinator of Enrollment Services, and Janice Lucas, Director of the LEAD Coalition. Please join me in welcoming all of our honored guests. <laughs> Recently, our Alumni Association named the 2015 Distinguished Alumni Award winner. The award has been given to an alumnus who has been recognized for his or her outstanding accomplishments in the community in the areas of community service, career achievement, and for contributions to educational opportunities at Gulf Coast State College. I am honored to invite Mr. C.C. Carter, Mr. Cur Curtis C.C. Carter, WKGC's producer of specialized programming and this year's Distinguished Alumni Award winner to say a few words. Mr. Carter? Oh. I'm really excited to be here. And it's so good to see people because I be behind a microphone all the time. And one thing I want to say to the class of 2015, I wish you well. You are the step to the future. Mom and dad, they're finally graduating from college. Take that next step and make that good decision. First of all, I want to say, I've been on the radio 40 years, a graduate of Gulf Coast Community College, and I have really seen things progress at the college. One thing I like about everything, I work a lot with the students. I'm in the community more everywhere. I'm everywhere. And if you don't see me anywhere, you hear me anywhere. You moving on with CC in the city by the bay. <laughs> and I'm not an old man, a sweet loving soul man. If your radio is not on CC, now for 40 years, survey proven number one. I wanna say what's so good about that for me? I got all my training and all my education here at Gulf Coast State College. Working with some of the professionals, some of the professors, and I never forget 
one of my main, main professors was Miss Buttermore. She was my speech teacher. She always told me I had a beautiful voice. She says, so smooth in the city by the bay. <laughs> if your radio is not on CC, your radio is not on. A rare medium that's well done. I want to salute the class of 2015, and I want to wish you well. And I also want to thank the Gulf Coast Community College, the Gulf Coast State College Alumni Association for nominating me for the Extinguished Award for 2015. That means so much to me as well as the community. And I want to wish you well. And parents, you need to give everyone a big hand because you all made it all possible without the parents and without you giving them the guidance that they need and working here with the college, the kids wouldn't be graduating tonight. I want to wish you well. If anything I can do, just give me a call. If you feel like you can't make it, keep on striving. It's going to be hard, but it always pay off. Well, as I leave now, you take care of yourself. Take care of all of yourself. Without self, there's nothing. Thank you. Thank you, Cece. That award is well-deserved. Congratulations, and one day when I grow up, I want my voice to sound like that. <laughs> Before I introduce our graduation speaker, I would like to recognize all of our faculty and staff who are here with us today. They have worked in partnership with tonight's graduates to help them reach their goals. For us, the graduates, the students, the faculty, the staff, this is payday. This is the day it all comes together. The faculty and staff set the standards for academic excellence, and they daily reaffirm this college's commitment to the future. These individuals are the reasons for our successes and for the achievements of our students. Faculty and staff, for all that you do, we thank you. I would ask all of you to please stand and be recognized. And to all the parents, friends, and family members in the audience today, your efforts are also to be commended. Students, please stand. You get a lot of exercise in these ceremonies. Please turn, face the audience, and give them a standing ovation for their support of you. Now you can turn around. And now it is with great pleasure that I introduce our guest speaker tonight, a colleague and a friend, Rosie O'Bork. This is, as most of you know, Rosie's last ceremony as an employee as she is retiring in a few, mo mo in a few months. Rosie and I have had the pleasure of working since she started working at Gulf Coast in 1984 as an adjunct instructor. She became a full professor in 1991 and was named the Fine Arts Division Chair in 1993, which later was renamed the Chair of the Visual and Performing Arts Division. She teaches in both music and the theater programs and is a recipient of the Florida Theater Conference's Distinguished Career Award and is a recipient of the Gulf Coast State College's 2014 Outstanding Administrator Award, both well-deserved. In over 30 years of teaching, she has made thousand, in over 30 years of teaching, she has had a positive impact on thousands of students. Her influence can be found from New York to Hollywood, as many of her students have gone on to successful careers in the entertainment industry. She's been involved in 94 productions at the college with her crowning achievement of her teaching career being the magnificent performance in Les Miserables. The college and the arts community could not have had a better friend or partner, and this community will be a better place for all of her efforts. But all of her efforts, but of all of her efforts, I remember Rosie for a role that she had in a little musical a number of years ago called South Pacific. 
She had as a performance, uh, she was a Javanese girl with a sing-song sing -song voice and a very quick wit. That was my all-time favorite. So without further ado, here to recap her role in the South Pacific is Rosie O'Bort. Bali Kai. Just kidding. Congratulations, graduates, and a wonderful evening to you. Good evening, platform guests, Gulf Coast College faculty and staff, and students in the audience, and wonderful supportive family of these students. When asked to give this commencement address, I was very honored and very humbled. In planning what to say to you, I was absolutely terrified. Why? Because I sat through many addresses that lasted forever, and I don't remember a thing about them. So I really wanted to share something with you that may make a difference. And I went to the source, my former theater student. Now, theater is a, a very difficult field in which to find work and make money. More difficult than many. It requires an unbelievable commitment perseverance, and yes, opportunity. I asked, what is it that makes these former students successful? Time and again, the thought of accepting opportunities and not letting fear get in the way came up. Look at you. You're already there. You have already taken that first step. You have accepted the opportunity to start a new life. Some of you will go into the workforce right away and some will continue with their education at a university, and some will become stay-at-home parents. Whatever you do after tonight, reach for those opportunities as they appear in order to make a better life for yourself, for your children, for your families. You may think, I, I, I'm speaking of opportunities that lead to financial success, but I speak of opportunities that make you feel fulfilled, that make you happy, Ask yourself, have I pursued the opportunities that complete me? Has fear kept me from doing what I truly love? For a moment, just for a moment, allow me to share a personal anecdote with you about the power of opportunity over fear. When I was 13 years old, my parents arranged for my brother, who was 11 at the time, and for me to leave our homeland in Cuba. This difficult decision was made because the communist government decreed that all persons between the ages of 16 and 50 would be required to render military service. My, many parents believed that this was an effort to brainwash children. The Catholic Church in the U.S. began obtaining exit visas for children from 1960 to 1962 through a program named the Pedro Pan effort, Peter Pan, because most of these children essentially would be orphans for a while. The Pedro Pan effort is the largest recorded exodus of unaccompanied minors in the Western Hemisphere. Some of the children went to live with relatives and friends. My brother and I went to live with a Mills family in St. Petersburg. Some went to orphanages or became foster children. My parents knew the opportunity for them to leave Cuba might never come. They had been denied many times. They clung to the fact that my brother and I would have better lives in this country. This trumped the fear of never seeing us again. It was the ultimate parental sacrifice, and they reached for that opportunity for us. On December 1st, 1961, as we waited isolated in a glass-enclosed fishbowl room at the Havana airport for eight hours, our parents tried to keep an upbeat appearance standing on the other side of that glass. They were not allowed to bring us food or water. I will never forget their faces. The exercise was aimed at harassing the parents and upsetting the children. Young children cried and were comforted by those of us who were a little older. We knew that at any point we might be sent back home. I'll spare you the details of my subsequent family saga. My parents were eventually able to join us, my father three years later escaping in a small sailboat, and my mother two years after that through diplomatic channels. A happy ending, however, that was never assured. 
but my brother and I accepted the opportunity our parents bought at such a great cost and dedicated ourselves to striving for success without fear. Okay, that was an extreme example of accepting opportunities. Here is a more lighter one. I'll tell you a little secret. I have been involved in performance of some kind or another since I was three years old. I can perform in a play or a musical, I can be Bloody Mary, and I can have no fear. But doing what you see me doing tonight, speaking to a group, <laughs> being myself, is one of my biggest fears. However, this was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up when I was asked, shaky legs and all. Talking with you is a privilege that I will never forget. Finally, a little practical piece of advice from all my years in the theater. Listen carefully now. Remember, you only need two tools in life, WD-40 and duct tape. <laughs> if it doesn't move but should, use the WD-40. If it shouldn't move but does, use the duct tape. I wish you all great success, much happiness, and as we say in Spanish, salud, dinero y amor, good health, wealth, and love. Thank you. Rosie, Rosie O'Bork, you are a true special, special, special person. A uh, true special part of the Gulf Coast family, and uh, as Dr. McSpadden, former president of Gulf Coast, used to say, you are a Gulf Coast person in every way possible. We have a small token of appreciation for you, so hang on to that. Thank don't you. Don't drop it. No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is a small token of our appreciation for your willingness to share your thoughts, your history, and your heart. This is also a thanks for your years of service at the college, your dedication to your students, your passion for your profession, and the devotion to the arts. Thank you again for all that you are and all you've done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now Vice President George Bishop will present the members of the graduating class and will assist me in conferring their degrees and certificates. In celebration of academic excellence, we will recognize our honors graduates with college medallions and would invite you to applaud their, their accomplishments as they come across the stage. Dr. Bishop. Candidates for graduation, please rise. Dr. Holdnack, I present to you the graduating class of 2015. Each student here has met all requirements for graduation as established by Gulf Coast State College and is therefore entitled to receive the degree of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, or certificates as awarded by this institution. These students have been officially approved for graduation by the faculty and administration of Gulf Coast State College. By the power invested in me by the District Board of Trustees of Gulf Coast State College, I confer upon you the degrees of Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Applied Science, Associate in Arts, Associate in Science, Associate in Applied Science, and Occupational Certificates with all of the rights, privileges, and honors that are so rightfully yours as 2015 graduates of Gulf Coast State College. You, you may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Graduates, you may please come forward to receive you, your diplomas. Ms. Sandra Pugh will read the names of the graduates.
awarding degrees of Bachelor of Applied Science. Dylan Bertram, cum laude. Lorenzo Burrows. Joshua Eldridge, cum laude. Emma Rose Franco, Associate in Arts degree. Justin Perez. Dwayne Lee Powell. Michael Scott. Mohammed Walid Sharif Cum Laude. Stephen A. Bodhi. Eureka S. Cummings. Patricia Ellen Jones. Marcus Klein. Sarah A. Rowe, cum laude. Kelly Annette Serrato, cum laude. <laughs> Elena Simpkins. Awarding degrees in Associate of Arts, Nathaniel Barnard. Ashton Adkison. Boloruncho Akande, summa cum laude. Abdul Majid Alkada, cum laude. Tamila Amanjolova, magna cum laude. Monaba Anis, summa cum laude. Frisia Rachel Barlop. Kristen Rebecca Barentin. Michelle Evelyn Bass. Candice Beckman, magna cum laude. Julia Beckman, summa cum laude. James William Bell. June Ann Best. Kimberly Bezdek Laramore. Tyler J. Black. Shavante, <laughs> Shavante Alexandria Baker. Jessica Elizabeth Borden. Jonathan Michael Boyaval. Carol Lynn Bozeman. David A. Bradshaw, magna cum laude. Danielle Brevard. Latasia S. Brown. Lauren Brown. Right. 
Leanne Blanchard. Angela Brumfield. Don Marie Birnbaum. Amanda Carden. Trista Maria Buras. Deidre Bergbacher, summa cum laude. Stevie Elizabeth Butler. Courtney Marie Calhoun. Samantha Rose Calzada, cum laude. Taylor Campbell. Janice Marie Cantres. Evan R. Caparelli. Olivia Carr, magna cum laude. Lucas Joel Carter, cum laude. Emberly Nicole Casaw, summa cum laude. Elliot Cole. Cynthia Marie Collier. Jeremy Cook, magna cum laude. Jessica Lynn Cook. Lauren Corbin. Logan Craft. Suzanne Marie Creamer. John Christian Kernan, magna cum laude. Barbara Clark. Austin B. Davis. Lorenzo Davis. Morgan Davis. Jody Dalton. Valerie LaShawn Davis. Michael John Delaney. Mariana Vaslivna Delgado, cum laude. Caitlin Dillon, cum laude. Caitlin Marie May Donovan, summa cum laude. Erica P. Du Bois. Brandon Tyler Everhart. Preston M. Flanders. Gretchen Forrester. John D. Freeman. K. 
Kay Williams Freeman. Susan F. Freeman Phillips. Alicia Mariah Gaynor. Brittany R. Garwood, magna cum laude. Brittany Lynn Gay. Zena Renee Geiger. Chelsea Aaliyah Gibson. Megan E. Glover. Katherine Elizabeth Gordon. Mackenzie Noel Gorey. Jessica M. Graziano. Emma Susan Hansen. Micah Daniel Hapner, cum laude. Alicia Marie Hilton. Sandra Kathy Hitzman. Tina M. Hood. Caitlin Elise Hubler. Alexandria Ann Hudson Gould. Bakila Michelle Jackson. Bryce S. Johnson. Linda J. Jones. Amanda Lynn Jun. Terry Kalinowski, summa cum laude. Savannah Sky Close. Stephen L. Labrod. James Edward Lester III. Krista, Krista B. Leitner. Amanda Denise Long. Nicholas Ryan Lundy. Nicoletta Alina Manis. Shelby Lynn McKeever. Gina Mathis. Bria Danielle Matthews. Oh, 
Corey Lee McVeigh. Clinton James McCormick. Laura Hayden McGee, cum laude. Trent Avery McGill. Zachary Denzel McNabb. Jacqueline German, summa cum laude. Christiana Angelique Haani Mendiola, cum laude. Austin Blake Menacal. Vanessa Lynn Merchant. Kelly Elizabeth Mesnard. Ashley L. Messer, magna cum laude. Jessica L. Mitchell. Nuvera Coser Mosin, summa cum laude. Christina Elizabeth Fay Monroe. Ruth Ann Moreau. Christopher Robert Moses. Lillian T. Mulligan, summa cum laude. Nicole Lida Odell. Summer Nicole Odom. Philip Christian Orvis. Rachel Elizabeth Owens. Aaron Bailey Roland Harrigan. Katrin Patterson. Oh. Brittany Nicole Peak, magna cum laude. Aaron Savannah Peak, magna cum laude. Michael Petway. Kiara Phillips. Carolyn Renee Popple. Alamelu Shamali Mamaraj, summa cum laude. Nick Resler. Mariah Reinhardt. Stephen B. Roy. Janice Bettina Brianne Russ. Cayman A. Russell. Star Salcido.
Nicholas Scott, cum laude. Marissa Ann Shook, cum laude. Natalie Jordan. Peggy Alicia Scarrett, summa cum laude. Vitaly Igorovich Smirnov. Cody M. Smith. Sally G. Smith. Samantha Smith. Sierra Rain Span. Teddy Stalnaker. Darnell Stevens. Samantha Claire Stewart, summa cum laude. Megan B. Stoddard. Jessica J. Stone. Aliriza Fajod. Lacey B. Strickland. Kimberly Striplin. Unas Tariq. John Daniel Thompson, cum laude. Dararat Dar Tiebklang. Sarah K. Tolson, cum laude. Joan E. Turner, summa cum laude. Susan Elise Van Osdell. Brian L. Van Zant, cum laude. Jana Vodovova, magna cum laude. Jonathan Wade, cum laude. Brittany M. Walker, magna cum laude. Kayla D. Warren. Anton Waters. Francis Malin Watford, cum laude. Jacob Willard. Dylan Wilson. Brittany Winters, magna cum laude. Austin T. Womack. Awarding degrees of Os Associate of Science. Ashley Lewis.
Amara Rochelle Bartley. Tanya L. Beck. Taisha Biggs. Philip Jeffrey Blair. Dana Blunt. Leon Charles Brunson, magna cum laude. Ebony M. Capehart. Joshua T. Cargill. Adam T. Carpenter. Melissa Cash, magna cum laude. Hayarina Castellanos. Jessica Lynn Chambliss. Connie Connor. Matthew Cole. Megan Nicole Cummings, summa cum laude. Jenny Lynn Curtis. Michael Dates. Antonio de Jesus. Valerie Marie Douglas. Lakeisha Jackson Downing. Tiffany Ann Ducharme. Letitia D. Dunklin. Brianna Esterberg. Janice Eubanks. Gabriela M. Garza, cum laude. Spring Ann Gates, cum laude. K.C. Gibson, Jr., summa cum laude. Crystal Marie Gill. Nakia, Nakaya M. Goodwin. Aaron Lee Green. Melissa L. Hare. William Raymond Heller. Chelsea Brooke Hobbs. Destiny Hobbs. Stacy Blair Hutton, summa cum laude. Anna T. Jones, cum laude. 
Daniel Jones, cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Kembro, magna cum laude. Amy J. Kettleson. <laughs> Cassandra A. Kirby. Eric Lamb. Megan E. Landers. Nagora A. Landis. Jennifer Lemons. Clarissa Cherie Lewis. Troy M. Lewis. Erica Lean. Jessica M. Logan. Serena May Mangelsdorf. Shanine Martin. Minerva Faris Massis. Kristen McNamara. Brian Minor, magna cum laude. Jonathan David Muzinski, magna cum laude. Jennifer Newton, magna cum laude. Zui Win. Tammy Orr. Christopher Antonio Owens, cum laude. Curtis L. Oxley, magna cum laude. Anthony Polito, Jr. James Travis Parsons, cum laude. Justin P. Perrine. Brandy K. Perry. Nadia Petrov, magna cum laude. Casey Lynn Poor, cum laude. Candice Blonzett Potter. Daniela Amy Pouncey, summa cum laude. Naquana Randolph. Joseph H. Rella. Jamal, Jamal Reynolds. 
Sonny Evan Rodia. Laura D. Rowell. Courtney Lynn Rucker. Christopher John Sanabria. Courtney Sapp. April Colleen Smith, cum laude. Gwendolyn L. Smith. Daniel J. Stegemeyer. Carol Lynn Steinicke. Glenda A. Stevens. Megan Michelle Stone. Casey Lee Stribling. Carlos Stephen Taylor Jr. Cum Laude. Michelle K. Thompson. Zachary Wheeler. Megan Irene Wilkerson. Dora Michelle Zion Summa Cum Laude. Venable. Cecilia Venable. <laughs> Awarding degrees of Associate of Applied Science, Cassandra Lynn Hancock. Luz Ramirez. Angela P. Tyndall. Awarding certificates, Anthony Clark. Wanda S. Havlicek. Sabrina Pauline Levins Cum Laude. Jeanette Isabel Medina Cum Laude. Jorge Nadal Suma Cum Laude. Win, win, cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany E. Reed, cum laude. Marcia Vilma Scholl. Rita May Wilson, summa cum laude. Fresia Inga Barlup. John Westerterp.
I don't know about you guys, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Gulf Coast State College Class of 2015. Congratulations again. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on this year and to thank you all for having me as your president at Gulf Coast State College. Uh, it's been uh, an experience of a lifetime. Uh, the journey began 11 months ago today, and time has certainly flown by. I wouldn't have known the 11 months except it's in my script. This has been an exciting year for myself and my family, and I can't adequately express all of the appreciation from the students, the faculty, the staff, the trustees, the people in the community. Uh, it's really made Gulf Coast a special place for me, um, and I um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. In closing, I'm reminded of the words of Co Colin Powell, a dream doesn't become a reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. No dream is too big, and you have all proven that. Hard work and determination brought you here tonight, and this is only the beginning. Congratulations and best luck for you and all of your future endeavors. <laughs> Graduates and guests, please rise and remain standing for the alma mater and benediction and then remain standing until the faculty, staff, and graduates have all made their exit. Our journey through life is filled with peaks and valleys that unfold before us. Tonight, as we view our world, we stand on one of these peaks. However, we must remember not to become self-satisfied and ignore the value or importance of the valley that we have walked through that has brought us to this peak. We will continue to walk through valleys and sometimes feel a sense of abandon and only be able to focus on what is directly ahead of us. But as in nature, we need to remember that above the tree line, the mountaintops are barren, and that it is in the valley that we discover the opportunity for true growth. As our paths diverge, let us retain the peace we have found at the end of one journey as the next journey unfolds before us. Thank you. <laughs> 